Hiya! Hope you're all okay. Um, this is a really quick video to show you a quick um, first look of a titanium flat pack stove that my hubby's bought. I um, thought you might be interested to see it, so yeah, let's have a look. I hope you're all okay. So, we're at the beach today, so you'll be able to see that in another video. But I just wanted to show you this Tom Shoe stove. So, it comes in a little black pouch. It's about £30. I can put the link in the description for you if you're interested. It comes with a little um, extendable set of bellows, which is quite cool. Um, we've put a piece of foil in the bag as well because it doesn't have like an, an ash plate in the bottom so if you were using it on grass or anything then you might want to use a bit of foil underneath and then this is the stove so it comes in five pieces and then you've got two little crossbars for the top and I'll just show you how it goes together so it is really cool it really flats packs down flat she says way much at all. What I will do is I will put all the techie, specky stuff together for you. How much it weighs. I might compare it to my, I've got um, a Bushbox XL titanium version so I might just compare the weight of them both because I think this will weigh a lot less to be honest. So you put your three sides together and they're very very simple to slot together she says. To unslot it now to show you. So they just literally slide in like so. And then you put your front on. No, you don't. You put your tray in the bottom, which has got three notches, and in these, there's little slots. Slide that in. Then you put your front on. You tend to do one side first. but I've only done it a couple of times so bear with me so where's the last one getting the last one on is a bit fiddly because it goes you have to put the slots up one way and down the other way so there so there's your stove and then you put your little crossbar in the top so you've got two slots so it goes together like that and then just literally tucks in the corners and it makes it so rigid I was quite surprised actually how rigid it makes it there solid that is really really solid so we'll get, have a go at lighting it and get the pot on and have a nice turmeric tea I think <laughs> you feel me? in case you're wondering why I'm wet I've been in the sea Wet. Right, so I've got some water in my pot. Just put some dried grass in the stove that we've collected on the way in. We've collected all this wood as well. I'm really sorry if the wind noise is bad. See, it's really windy now. And it wasn't just now. Just for ease, I'm cheating. Dry grass wasn't very dry, maybe. But it certainly felt dry. 
So it'll be interesting, obviously it's the first time we've used it, so it'll be interesting to see if it warps much. It's a titanium pot, so it should boil quite quick. Something so satisfied about having a fire though, isn't there? Even if it is just to boil some water. It's been a long time actually. Should have timed, I should have timed how long it took to boil. Didn't think about that. Right, pot's boiling. Make some tea. Got our little cups down here, our turmeric tea bags. So once we've got it going, it's burnt really, really well. You see it's still going away down here and it boiled the water really quickly, but I don't know why we struggled to kind of get it going. We didn't have any birch bark, so we were just using dried grass um, and um, ferro rod. God, brain, brain. Yeah, so I've, whether if we had some birch bark in there without a shadow of doubt, that would have gone straight away. But the bellows came in handy, so it's good. <laughs> it's good they give you bellows with it. Definitely needed those to give it a bit of a blow. <laughs> yeah, just going to put these last few bits of wood on there. But yeah, so I will show you um, the techie bits from home, which I will insert here. It's just a quick comparison of the Tom Shoe stove versus the Bushcraft Essentials Bushbox XL, um, both titanium. So I just wanted to show you the size comparison. So the Tom Shoe one is quite a bit smaller. Just bring in the scales here. I'm just going to, I'll weigh them both in grams and then I'll put the ounces on the screen as well. So this is the Tom Shoe stove, which weighs in at 229. And the bush box is 575. So yeah, quite quite a lot heavier than the Tom shoe stove. A bit horses for courses, I guess, really. But if you're wanting to get your weight down, then the Tom shoe stove would be a pretty good bet for you. Just a little size comparison for you. So the Tom shoe stove is on the left and the bush box XL is on the right. So obviously there's quite a huge size difference, hence the weight difference. I just thought I'd show you that, quite interesting. And yeah, check it out. I'll put the description and the links and everything in the um, description, <laughs> in the comments. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, check it out. But yeah, it's a good little stove, quite pleased with it. So when we get home, um, I will show you whether it's warped or not, because that would be quite interesting to see whether it's warped on first use or not. Um, but yeah, Tom Shoe Titanium little fire stove, it's cool. enjoyed this little video and I'll catch you again soon. Take care. Bye!